These entrepreneurs have set their own tempo to defy the odds. Now it's your turn to set the tempo of your code and make your message heard. Shalise and Mike both know the importance of time in music composition. In this next video, Mike explains why the tempo is so important to setting the mood of a song. Tempo is the speed of a given piece of music or the number of beats per minute. So in your assignment, you can write down tempo as the term for this definition. The speed of a given piece of music or the number of beats per minute. The tempo of a song can change its mood. So write down tempo. What is a beat? A beat is the basic music the basic unit of musical time. Beats give your song rhythm and let you move and dance to the feel of the music. The faster the beat, the higher the tempo. Slower beats mean a slower tempo. Beats and tempo determine the mood of a song. So you're gonna write beat in your assignment. Okay, are you ready to learn more about the tempo of Entrepreneur and watch Shalise and Mike code the chorus of Entrepreneur on EarSketch? Different genres of music often have different tempo ranges. What do you think entrepreneur's tempo is? Do you have any guesses? I think it's kind of fast, kind of slow. You can look at the genres there and their um, beats per minute. And the answer is 83. Was that what you thought it was? Were you surprised? So you might think that hip hop has a faster beat but really, it's uh, more of a slower tempo. Change, changing the tempo is a great way to remix a song. You can edit one number in EarSketch and change a slow song into a techno dance hit. So we're going to get into EarSketch and hear the difference when we code different tempos. Shalise and Mike started to build their song today. Now it is your turn. Shalise discusses building the song in blocks of four and eight. Why do we do this? In music, beats are grouped into groups of four. Each group of four beats is called a measure or note. Each beat is a quarter note in a piece of music. One measure has four quarter notes or four beats. Why is each beat called a quarter note? You're going to write measure in your assignment document. Let's take a look at what measures look like in our DAW. You can see that there's the time element across the top. There's measure markers. And when we get into ear sketch today, we're going to kind of play around with this and be able to make expand things, make them a little bit larger so we can see things. We're going to be able to move lines down. So this is one of the things that we're going to explore when we get into ear sketch today. Have you heard many songs that are only 8 seconds long? Maybe on a TikTok video. However, your remix song will need to be at least 30 seconds or 16 measures. So how do we extend our 8 second or 4 measure song to 30 seconds or 16 measures? Any ideas from the video on how to do this? So there's a few ways. Let's see how you're going to do it. When you listen to Entrepreneur or another one of your favorite songs, you may notice that not all the instruments or vocals start at the same time. In fact, Mike points out to Shalise when they first start coding that the first measure of Entrepreneur is silent. You can change the starting or ending measure of your fit media functions to achieve the effects you want. Your challenge today is to build a 16 measure song that uses 10 different sounds or tracks. You can add more tracks and play with fit media to, co to code your song. You're going to use the directions in your document to help you. And now you're going to have time. So you've already built an eight measure song. We're just going to double that by creating another function for your verse one and including um, at least five more tracks and at least eight more measures. Awesome work today, class. You built a 16 measure song with your own tempo and got to know many awesome entrepreneurs that have been setting their own tempo already. To close out today, we have a quick exit ticket on Google Forms. Complete that and our daily journal and see you tomorrow.